And right now, the government leaders need our faith and encouragement more because we really need their leadership to bring about wide-scale change. We must help provide the government with information about the true cost of the animal diet. The government could spread campaigns about veg alternatives, bans on meat, and laws to help people switch to organic vegan farming and consumption. I pray that the ones who are aware and want to save the children will do something about it and fast to stop this horrendous system that is killing us and destroying our planet. And that we must not allow any longer. An internationally renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, poet, and artist, Supreme Master Ching Hai has also been an advocate for peace and the environment, as well as an animal lover. Caring deeply for the planet and all its inhabitants, Supreme Master Ching Hai has been urgently raising awareness on the threats of climate change with a steadfast determination that planetary destruction must be stopped before it is too late. Tirelessly accepting numerous invitations to conferences, media interviews, and other events, she has helped to clarify and prioritize the vegan solution for humankind grounded in both extensive scientific research as well as profound inner spiritual knowledge. Supreme Master Ching Hai sends a message of encouragement for government leaders and citizens throughout the world, which is to act nobly for the survival and happiness of all beings now and to come. In late 2010, at the invitation of Mexico's Secretariat of Environment and Natural Resources, Supreme Master Ching Hai arrived in Cancun, Mexico to offer her support through prayers as well as her gentle presence for the United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP16, and its crucial mission of forging an international treaty to curb global warming and protect the world's citizens. During the course of the Climate Change Summit, some of the attending dignitaries who had the chance to speak with Supreme Master Ching Hai included the President of Mexico, His Excellency Felipe Calderón. Moldovian Minister of Environment and Natural Resources, Georgi Saladu. Togo's National Focal Point to the UNFCCC, Ambassador Komi Tomyeba. Head of the Climate Change Department at the Egyptian Environmental Affairs Agency, Dr. Ezit Louis Hanala Ajibi. Ugandan Environment Minister, Her Excellency Jessica Edio. And Peru's Environment Minister, Dr. Antonio Jose Brock Egg. Furthermore, while in Cancun, Supreme Master Ching Hai granted a number of interviews to print, radio, and television representatives of the Mexican media. She was also invited as the guest of honor for the Greenest Heroes Gala, co-hosted by the mayor of Cancun, the Honorable Jaime Hernandez Zaragoza, and the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association, the charity campaign by Cancun's Lady Mayoress and President of the Social Welfare Agency for the city's Benito Juarez Borough, Patty Meneses de Hernandez, as well as press conference with members of the media. During her stay in Cancun, Supreme Master Ching Hai was invited to share her thoughts on priority climate change measures with the media, among which was Mexico's prestigious Radio Formula, QR 92.3 FM, a station with the highest rating in the state of Quintana Roo. We now invite you to listen to the following interview with Supreme Master Ching Hai by Radio Formula in Cancun, Mexico, on November 22, 2010, just ahead of the United Nations Climate Summit. en Plaza Hollywood, local 86, entre Avenida Cobay y Avenida Escarés. Puerta de entrada al mundo maya. Una emisora integrante de Grupo Fórmula. Radio Fórmula QR. Tiene la palabra. Estás escuchando. 
Mundo Reformulario. No dejes de participar y exponer tus comentarios. Escribe al correo electrónico reformulando arroba radioformula qr.com o deja tu mensaje de voz vía telefónica en el 193-0200. La entrevista que les presentamos a continuación ha sido una experiencia muy interesante para nosotros, ya que la maestra suprema Ching Hai estaba en Europa y vía telefónica hubo la entrevista que además tuvo que ser traducida del inglés al castellano. Así es que esperemos que les sea interesante. Maestra Suprema Ching Hai, quisiera antes de entrar a nuestra conversación hacer una reflexión. Mi padre cumpliría más de 110 años en este momento y él me decía que la humanidad ha avanzado mucho técnica y científicamente pero que ha tenido poco tiempo para reflexionar cómo lo ha hecho. Eh, me llama la atención que una mujer como usted se haya detenido también en un momento dado para hacer reflexiones y proponer a la humanidad el ser vegano, el ser vegetariano y conservar el ambiente, eh, producir energía reciclable, en fin, creo que nos resultará muy interesante para los radioescuchas de Reformulando en Cancún, Quintana Roo, México. ¿Cómo ha llegado a esta propuesta? Hi, Suprema Sachin. Hi. Before going into our interview, I would like to start with a, uh, a little thought. My father, who, who this moment will be about 110 years, he always said that we advance as humanity technologically, but we never stop to think on how we got into that point. So I'm really glad that you stopped to think that we need to be vegetarian and being good towards environment and having sustainable energy. So I would like to start to know how did you come to that conclusion that we need to do these things? Well, first of all, uh, thank you for having me here. <laughs> You're very kind. And God bless you and your father. Antes que nada, quisiera agradecerle por tenerme aquí. Es usted muy amable. Dios la bendiga a usted y a su padre. Muy gentil de su parte. Estoy your muy mother. gustosa de escucharle. Your father is very wise, wise, wise man. <laughs> Su padre es un hombre muy, muy sabio. Sí, sí lo fue. Yes, he was. Okay. Yes. Now we answer your question uh, for your audience. I'm sure, or at least most of, or some of the things I'm going to tell you, your uh, your audience already are aware, and you yourself are very much uh, aware of them. But uh, for the sake of others, we will. Uh, conduct our conversation. Ahora bien, vamos a contestar las preguntas para su audiencia, pero estoy segura que lo que le voy a decir es familiar tanto para usted como su audiencia, pero tenemos que continuar con nuestra entrevista. Claro que sí. For that, I thank you. We have to find the time because it's urgent and it's concerning everyone on the planet. So we have to make the proposal. Um, Praying that everyone is listening and that we can save our planet uh, on time. Tenemos que darnos el tiempo para hacer estas propuestas y esperar que todos podamos salvar el planeta a tiempo. Estoy segura que cuando usted se detuvo a hacer una reflexión, pensó primero en sí misma. I'm sure that when you stopped to make a reflection, you thought first about yourself. Y yes. posteriormente pensó en en alguien más, a alguien que tuviera enfrente, y seguramente es toda la humanidad. ¿Cómo, cómo eh, pensó usted dirigir sus propuestas y a quiénes? And after that, you just start to think in somebody else and, and how to address your proposals to them. So, to whom you are thinking of and how to address these people? Okay. Uh, first of all, um, we had to refresh a little bit ourselves about this uh, solution to save the planet that is the vegan diet and 
uh, the uh, sustainable energy and to plant more trees. These are uh, doable, uh, especially the vegan diet. Everyone can do it. Eh, primero es recordarnos a nosotros mismos acerca de estas soluciones, que es el, el veganismo, la energía sustentable, el plantar más árboles, principalmente el veganismo, ya que es la solución más efectiva. And meanwhile, the vegan diet will stop the climate uh, further warming, and the trees will help absorb the carbon from the atmosphere. We can regain the moisture and stability uh, for our climate. So, planting tree, vegan diet is essential, and then sustainable energy go along with it when we have time, when we already save the planet. Lo primero es la dieta vegana, ya que con esto vamos a ganar el tiempo de vivir una vida sustentable. Y entonces vamos a poder a empezar a plantar árboles y a continuar con una dieta vegana, que es el punto principal. Y luego ya más adelante, cuando estemos listos, podemos continuar una vez que hayamos salvado el planeta con la energía sustentable. Yes, because according to uh, all the scientists report, the livestock industry, meaning the animals rising, have produced at least 51% of all the greenhouse gases emission, that is four times the total of all transportation in the world combined, including planes, trains, cars, ships, etc. Porque de acuerdo a los reportes científicos, la industria animal ha producido al menos 51% de los gases de efecto invernadero. Esto es mucho más que el transporte de todo el mundo combinado, que son los, los barcos, los trenes, los aviones. And this livestock industry is the number one human-generated source of the dangerous potent greenhouse gas that heats up our planet, which is called methane. Y esta industria de la de la producción animal, de la industria animal, es la generadora número uno por causa de los humanos y del del gas de efecto invernadero más poderoso llamado metano. And methane has almost hundred times. The heating effect compared to CO2 means carbon dioxide, but it also leaves our atmosphere quickly in around 12 years. And while CO2 lasts thousands of years, so if we want to cool the planet quick, we have to eliminate methane, and that means eliminate livestock industry because that's the cause of methane. El metano tiene casi 100 veces el, el el poder de calentamiento, que el dióxido de carbono, entonces primero tenemos que eliminar el metano. And it's also the biggest pollution of water, the primary destroyer of wildlife species, a major cause of deforestation and wasted water and grains, and the worst killer of our health. We must stop the animal industry, you see, including uh, Mexico's desertification, which was taking place, is due to climate warming. Entonces es la fuente principal de la contaminación del agua, del desperdicio del agua. Debemos detener la industria animal principalmente en México para detener la desertificación que hay. Sí, eh, efectivamente nos ha costado mucho trabajo eh, mantener una eh, conciencia con respecto a la conservación de la naturaleza y precisamente esa es la tercera pregunta. Más que recursos económicos para llegar a, a esto que usted pretende, se requiere que nosotros los seres humanos eh, tengamos una transformación y nos detengamos un poco eh, y no seamos tan mezquinos con nosotros mismos y tal vez con con la naturaleza al mismo tiempo. Uh, you're right, Master. Uh, it's being hard for us to be aware of what we are doing. So this transformation leads us to the third question, which is uh, that more than money, we require a transformation and not being as selfish to make change. This uh, change requires a transformation from the inside and not be yes. so selfish. Yes, you are correct. You are correct. We need to rethink our lifestyle, 
we have to rethink the whole planet uh, species and survival, not just uh, for our enjoyment uh, day to day or momentarily. We have to think uh, very unselfishly, as you have said. Así es, eh, tenemos que, que pensar en nuestro estilo de vida, en la supervivencia de nuestras especies, no solamente en nuestro disfrute, pensar en la sociedad. Yes, just to be vegan is very simple. That saves all the lives on the planet, save the animals, save the environment, and save the world for our children, future. Ser vegano es muy simple, salva el mundo, salva la vida de los animales, salva el ambiente para nuestros niños. ¿Tiene usted eh, proyectos de sanidad y alimentación para quienes se convierten a ser vegano? Porque supongo que en este aspecto también tiene que ver eh, la cuestión de medicina eh, que se ha comprobado que a veces se aleja mucho de la naturaleza. Uh, do you have any health and dietary programs for those who turn into vegetarianism? Los grupos indígenas de México, por lo menos. The indigenous groups of Mexico, at least. Recurren a, a las hierbas que usaban sus ancestros, pero estas hierbas, pues, eh, han sido contaminadas tal vez por pesticidas o se han terminado y eh, okay. muchas de estas tradiciones de recurrir a la propia naturaleza para hacer medicina, pues están un poco ya lejanos de lo que vivimos todos los días. She said that at least uh, indigenous people, they uh, use herbs, traditional herbs as medicine, but this has changed because all the herbs have been maybe polluted because of pesticides. Yes, she is very, very, very knowledgeable. Uh, about uh, all the things that happening in the world and especially at least in Mexico she's very very knowledgeable I am I'm impressed you see the indigenous people or uh, our ancestor even mostly they know nothing of uh, meat like the way we do it has been proven that Mexicans people in the uh, old time they eat only grain vegetable herbs etc and our ancestry use herbal medicine cure whatever little ailment they have if they have right now she is right that is uh, even herbs are polluted by fertilizer runoff chemical runoff from the livestock industry and it pollute all our stream uh, you know river most of uh, our water body has been polluted or even die out so we are facing trouble everywhere, not just climate uh, warming, but uh, we will be running out of clean, healthy water, clean, healthy uh, vegetable, herbs and fruits and etc. It's a very, very frightening situation. Eh, la maestra dice que está muy impresionada que usted es una persona que tiene muchísimo conocimiento en todo el tema, que está realmente impresionada con todo su conocimiento y que es verdad que dice que la gente indígena en realidad al principio no sabe nada de la carne, la gente mexicana se sabe que originalmente vivía de vegetales que, y el día de hoy incluso las hierbas están contaminadas por la industria animal, los ríos, los cuerpos de aguas están contaminados, estamos entrando en un tiempo muy difícil y es una situación muy, muy atemorizante. Some of the diseases related to meat consumption and or production. Fatal prion diseases transmissible through air or milk. Rabies, anthrax, sleeping sickness, Q fever, norovirus, swine flu, Ebola restin virus. Cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children. Antibiotic resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus. Blue tongue disease, E. coli, salmonella, bird flu, mad cow disease or Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, 90% of the population at risk, pig's disease or PMWS, listeriosis, shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia, Campylobacter, Clostridium difficile, diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock, some of the costs of meat eating, infertility, Eating just one serving of meat per day increases the risk of women's infertility by 32%, with additional meat consumption increasing the risk. Heart disease. 
Over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least 1 trillion US dollars a year. Cancer, increased childhood cancers and adult reproductive cancers from hormones in meat. Colon rectal cancer, over 1 million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat related cancers every year. Diabetes 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment in just the United States. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight, with 400 million more who are obese. Costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental. Use up to 70% of clean water. Pollute most of the water bodies. Deforest the lungs of the earth uses up to 43% of the world's cereal, uses up to 85% of the world's soy, cause world hunger and wars, 80% cause of global warming, plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption. Cowpox from milking cows. Bacterial microbes, pesticides and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. Breast, prostate and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk. Hysteria and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis. Classified as a major allergen. Lactose intolerance. Plus more. For help quitting, please visit. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Eh, maestra, ¿cuántas regiones del mundo eh, pueden ser susceptibles de entrar al, al ámbito vegano? Me refiero eh, la posibilidad de que haya tierra suficiente, agua suficiente para eh, poder eh, mantener eh, un, una siembra sana de vegetales como usted propone. Oh, Master, she asked, uh, can every country adopt this lifestyle? She mean like if they have enough land, enough water, enough resources to change to veganism? Oh, yes, yes. If we uh, change all the tillable land into veganism, then not only we have enough food to feed all the world, but we even have more than that. And then we will conserve the water and our water will be clean. And uh, we don't have to worry about so much disease and antibiotics that came from the animal's diet. Uh, for that, we, we have a lot of information on www.suprememastertv.com forward slash be veg. And uh, please uh, log on to that for more information and use them as you wish. It's all free of charge. And we have all kind of animal free recipes there for people to download and all the information necessary to know how to be vegan and uh, how healthy can it be for you and how damaging is the meat diet and how we can even save the planet by this vegan diet. Uh, we also list all the worldwide vegan and vegetarian restaurants and organizations that can be a source of uh, community support and help. Uh, many of our uh, association members also open Loving Hood uh, vegan restaurants everywhere to serve a very delicious, nutritious and affordable plant-based meals. There are currently over 160 international locations and many more also in many countries. Así es, eh, si es posible si cambiamos todas las tierras arables en tierras cultivables, no solamente tendremos la producción suficiente, sino que también conservaremos el agua. 
Eh, tenemos suficiente información. Si usted gusta entrar a www.suprememastertv.com slash eh, encontrará eh, recetas. Ustedes es libre de, de navegar en esta página del modo que usted quiera encontrar recetas gratuitas y además un listado de restaurantes vegetarianos en todo el mundo. También algunos compañeros han abierto restaurantes de la cadena Loving Hot para tener disponible al público comida deliciosa y nutritiva. By now, uh, the grains and the vegetables that are fitting to the livestock animals are depriving our planet people of the nutritious food that they need. That's why more than one billion people are hungry right now in the world. That is not right. We should not enjoy ourselves and let other people be hungry because of our dietary choice, which is a meat diet, very detrimental for our health, as well as the lives and health of many billions or more than one billion of others, as well as the health of our planet. We have to be unselfish. We have to change. Es ciertamente el alimento que se le da de comer al ganado, los granos y vegetales con el que se alimenta el ganado están privando al mundo y a cerca de 10 mil millones de personas de alimento y esta es una situación muy detrimental para la salud y para el planeta. Tenemos que dejar de ser egoístas, tenemos que empezar a pensar y a cambiar. He observado que generalmente cuando las personas cambian ciertos hábitos en su vida, eh, también los cambian en su manera de comportarse y relacionarse. Eh, usted propone eh, energía sostenible. Eh, ¿Cuáles serían esas propuestas? Eh, digamos, se vuelve uno vegano y lo que sigue es eh, responder también en la conservación de la energía. You talk about changing certain habits in your life. So I've observed that changing those habits change your current lifestyle. So you are proposing changes in sustainable energy. Yes. Y la forma de relacionarse con la energía exterior. With external energy. Uh, to be vegan is already a very big step towards sustainable energy as well. Because when we use vegan diet, it takes only one fraction of all the energies that is needed to keep a meat diet. So in choosing vegan, we already uh, cut a big chunk of energy waste by our diet. El ser vegano, perdón, es un gran paso hacia la energía sustentable, ya que toma solo una fracción de la energía. Entonces nosotros ya estamos tomando un gran paso hasta hacia la sustentabilidad. And of course, on top of that, if we plant all the tillable uh, land on Earth, we will absorb at least 40% of CO2. Uh, already in the atmosphere, so we are in a win-win situation, and we can fit the world more than spill over by organic vegan diet. Y si a, encima de eso nosotros además usamos toda la tierra arable, estaremos absorbiendo el 40% de los gases de efecto invernadero que ya están en la atmósfera. Eso es una situación muy favorable en el planeta. European Parliament supports reducing meat to lower greenhouse gases. Call vote. Vote is now open. Reduce your meat consumption or stop eating meat totally. During discussions on greenhouse gas reduction goals, the Climate Committee of the European Parliament officially recognized livestock's contribution to global warming and recommended a reduction of subsidies to the livestock industry to curb methane. The European Parliament has adopted its own position on climate change as an institution and as a vice president. One of the proposals I have made is in line with your own, which is that we should eat far less meat because that's one of the major sources of greenhouse gases. Massentierhaltung zum Beispiel ist ein großes Problem. Der Fleischkonsum in gerade auch den reichen Ländern des Nordens ist für das Klima nicht gut. Please eat less meat and let's make taxes on meat. That's definitely one of the issues we're talking about. I'd like to tell people what the cost is of eating meat for the environment worldwide.
My name is Jens Holm. I'm a member of the European Parliament. Please, be veg, go green to save the planet. Eh, ahorita deseo hacerle una pregunta un poco picante. ¿Considera usted que los grandes consorcios que de alguna manera contribuyen al calentamiento global accederían a modificar su producción? Y me refiero a el, las fuentes de energía alternativas que son muy elitistas, eh, no están al alcance de pueblos en desarrollo eh, como algunos países americanos. Uh, so I would like to make a difficult question. Do you consider that uh, the big companies that somehow contribute to global warming would agree to modify their production? And by that I mean by sustainable energy. Those alternatives are not reachable for those little companies. The sustainable energy uh, normally is very elitist. Ah, uh, yes. I think they have to. If they do care about even their own lives and the lives of their families, friends, and the future children. They have to. If not, then individuals as ourselves, all the people, the ordinary people, must do it. And in that case, if we choose the vegan diet individually, then even these companies have to change because no one will support them in their business. So if the companies don't change, the world people should change. Yo creo que tienen que hacerlo si es que les importa la, la vida. Eh, si las grandes compañías no están dispuestas a hacerlo, la gente ordinaria debe hacerlo. Y si nosotros cambiamos nuestro estilo de vida, estas grandes compañías ya no se verán apoyadas en sus prácticas. Es que podemos hacerlo, debemos hacerlo. Les pido que lo hagamos. ¿Cuál sería una posibilidad accesible a la mayoría de las personas que no tienen acceso precisamente a, a la tecnología eh, que es reciclable eh, por los costos? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo podríamos hacerlo sin contaminar y logrando parte de lo que usted propone? How other alternative accessible for the people who doesn't have the chance to do some recycling programs. You mean the diet or ¿Quiere decir recycling? en la dieta o de reciclaje? De reciclaje en el entorno en el que viven para hacer eh, energía eh, sostenible y, y que, que pueda tener acceso la gente de los pueblos, la gente de las comunidades, que puedan tener acceso a ello. What other kind of, of alternatives people have to produce energy? but they cannot uh, recycle it, or how can they generate it? The people from the village that doesn't have too many, uh, too many funds to do it. Oh, okay. Uh, she means like for generating electricity for themselves? Eh, ¿Quiere decir usted para generar electricidad para ellos mismos? Sí, yes. en parte, okay. sí. Yes, important. Yes. See, uh, in some places, the governments are already implementing uh, natural energy, like the sun power, the waves power, the wind power, it depends on what source of power at hand. But in Mexico, I think everyone can implement the sun solar power and uh, the government has to help or the people have to pull the resources together to do that because in Mexico we have plenty of sun and all the time. That is the, the big blessing from heaven, the sun. The sun Uh, not only can afford our eternal energy, offer heal our sickness, and make us uh, happy, joyful, intelligent, and contented. Debe haber alguna energía, alguna alternativa de energía natural. En México todos pueden implementar la energía solar y el gobierno debe de ayudarlos, ya que en México siempre brilla el sol. El sol también, además, puede ayudarnos a curar de nuestras enfermedades y también hacernos felices. <risa> Sí, sí brilla mucho el sol en nuestro país. Eh, maestra, ya vamos a ir terminando la entrevista. Sé que usted es artista, 
autora de varios libros, que tiene una muy buena relación con los animales, que ha logrado establecer un contacto algo más allá que de dos seres de distinta posición. Eh, háblenos un poco cómo obtienen recursos para promover y difundir lo que usted está haciendo. Oh, Master, before we finish our interview, uh, I know you are an artist, and I know you are friends with animals, and you have written books that show your good relationship with animals. So please uh, talk a little bit on where do you get your funds to promote your proposals. I see. Uh, you see, in the beginning, uh, we start slowly, and after a while, I have... Uh, good source of income from my own uh, designs like jewelry and clothes. Uh, so I use that in order to do uh, the work that is good for the world and for my heart, good for my heart, <laughs> to help people and to help the animals. <laughs> <laughs> me gusta, me gusta que una persona desarrolle sus talentos en beneficio de los demás. Eso me habla muy bien de usted. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál ha sido su mayor logro, si es que puede haber alguno en especial? Que si me puede hablar de uno de sus mayores logros, si oh. es que es posible. What have been your main achievements? The main achievements, I cannot even prove it to you. <laughs> uh, I don't have physical proof. One thing, uh, second thing that uh, sometimes I haven't do not allow us to boast about our work for others. But uh, I am partially happy that I'm contributing something for peace of the world and for less aggression in our society and um, less uh, cruelty to the animals, if you call that success. I credit all this to heaven's blessing and to the goodness uh, in the human's heart which uh, can be awakened any time due to circumstances or the time has come or that the love has been awakened somehow by some situation. En realidad no puedo probarle mis mayores logros de manera física y tampoco eh, podemos alardear mucho al, al respecto. Eh, sin embargo, estoy feliz de poder contribuir con la paz mundial y para minorar el sufrimiento del mundo. Le doy crédito al cielo y al amor que se ha desarrollado. Creo yo que ese, ese es su mejor logro, I por lo menos it, intentarlo. I think this is your biggest achievement to try. Ya para terminar, uh, otra pregunta try. que no es fácil de responder, porque además es, es usted sincera, si no lo fuera, pues contestaría cualquier cosa. Just for the last question, it's a, a difficult question because you are a very sincere person. Otherwise, if you weren't such a sincere person, it wouldn't be as hard. ¿Hacia dónde quiere llegar? ¿Hasta dónde quiere llegar? So how far do you want to go? Con sus proyectos. With your projects and proposals. Oh, we go as far as uh, we can, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Llegamos tan lejos como podamos. <laughs> I like her laughing very much. It sounds so warm and so So welcome and so, so like family. <laughs> Le gusta bastante su risa. Dice que suena muy cálida, muy, muy amable, como si fuera familia. <laughs> Dicen que me río muy fuerte. I laugh uh, very loud. <laughs> that, that's good. It's good. It's very difficult in this world. So laugh as much as you can, as loud as you can, as long as you feel like. <laughs> <laughs> la risa. Eso es bueno. Es muy bueno porque la risa en este mundo es muy difícil. Así que ría tan alto y tanto como usted pueda. Pues le agradezco mucho, se lo voy a decir a mis compañeros de trabajo que me dejen reír como, como usted y yo podríamos reír juntas. Oh, thank you, Master. I really appreciate it. I will let my coworkers know uh, that we should laugh as you and I can. Yeah. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> Laughter is good medicine also. It cheers up and it, uh, it uh, um, encourages the cells in our body to think happy and to be more contented. Así es, la, la risa es muy buena, también puede ayudar a curarla, activa las células para pensar más feliz y también hacerla más contenta. 
me ha dado mucho gusto escucharla, es una propuesta que seguramente mucha gente atenderá, así que le deseo lo mejor y le envío un fuerte y cálido abrazo caribeño desde Cancún, Quintana Roo. I really appreciate, uh, it's been a pleasure to meet you, so I would like to send you a big hug from the Caribbean Sea, from Cancun, Quintana Roo. Yes, uh, same with me, it's, it's an honor to be with such a very knowledgeable and open-minded person, and uh, your laughter makes me feel very close to you. Thank you, and God bless you for your work. Dios la bendiga también por su trabajo. Ha sido para mí un placer estar con una persona tan cálida, con una risa tan cálida. Hasta la próxima. Muchas gracias. Yeah. See you yeah. next time. Thank you. Hasta, hasta la, la próxima. Hasta, hasta, hasta la próxima. God bless you and your colleagues and your country. Bye. Dios la bendiga a usted y a, sus, y a sus compañeros de trabajo y a su país. Igualmente, muchas gracias. Same to you, thank you. Gracias. Following the interview with Supreme Master Ching Hai, Ms. Pilar Hufresa received listeners' supportive comments for the plant-based diet during the Citizen Pulse segment of the program. ¿A usted le interesaría saber más sobre el ser vegetariano o vegano? Sí, ¿por qué? No, ¿por qué? Claro, por toda la el índice de obesidad que hay en, hoy en México, somos uno de los países con altos índices de obesidad, y sí, comer vegetariano sería muy, muy rico, ¿no? Bueno, definitivamente sí, más que nada yo creo que por, por salud, me imagino, pues sobre todo ahorita que pues, se está dando mucho la, las enfermedades, sobre todo la diabetes, en el mal, la mala alimentación que tenemos. Nosotros somos vegetarianos eh, en la familia, y como hacemos deporte, como está cuando ahí lo vemos reflejado los beneficios. ¿A usted le gustaría saber más sobre el ser vegetariano o vegano? ¿Sí por qué o no por qué? Sí, claro, muchísimo. Ser vegetariano. ¿Por qué es rica la verdura? Pues más que nada, porque dijera uno, si, si come carne, pues que ya te enferma que de diferentes cosas la, la carne, así que no es limpia, ahora tiene más o menos sucia, por eso se enferma uno. Y siendo ya verduras, pues sanamente, pues uno... No te enfermas tan fácil, esta es la forma de pensar. Pulso Ciudadano. Estás escuchando Reformular. After the interview, Ms. Hufresa shared with Supreme Master Television her memorable experience with Supreme Master Ching Hai. Bueno, eh, eh, es extraño que tratando a una persona a larga distancia, sientas eh, tanta cortesía, eh, tanto afecto y sinceridad. La verdad es que me sentí como si fuera la maestra Chin Hai. Estuviera aquí en, en la mesa, aquí en Cancún. Ha sido para mí muy interesante. Cuando una persona modifica su comportamiento, lo modifica en todo sentido. Y no es nada más cuestión de, de dinero, sino de una voluntad como ser humano. Estoy de acuerdo con la maestra. Me dio mucho gusto conversar con ella. Me hubiera encantado hacerlo en vivo y a todo color y con más preguntas, esencialmente, porque creo que da para más. Mauricio Dávila, another staff member of Radio Formula, shared his newfound understanding of the importance of the vegan diet. Considero que es una una entrevista bastante importante para la estación, ya que nosotros estamos muy interesados más por el lugar donde vivimos en estos aspectos del cambio climático. Nosotros nos pues nos debemos al turismo. Y si el clima no es adecuado y si hay huracanes y todo esto que el calentamiento global trae, pues nos vamos a quedar obviamente sin, sin turismo. Entonces son entrevistas que eh, generan mucho interés para la gente que aquí vive, en, en México, en, en todo México también. Y nos sirve también a nosotros para aprender más acerca de este grave problema ¿no? que hay que atender pronto. Tenemos que aprender más también acerca de cómo alimentarnos sanamente de esta forma, de forma vegana. Y pues claro que es un, un asunto a considerar importante. 
y nos informaremos más al respecto, obviamente. Sé vegano, sé ecológico para salvar el planeta. During her stay in Cancun, Supreme Master Ching Hai was invited to share her thoughts on priority climate change measures with the media, among which was Encadena TV, a weekly statewide television program. We now invite you to listen to the following interview with Supreme Master Ching Hai by Encadena TV in Cancun, Mexico on December 9, 2010. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai es una guía espiritual reconocida mundialmente. Artista y humanitaria, su amorosa asistencia se extiende más allá de todas las barreras culturales. Nacida en Vietnam, estudió en Europa y trabajó en la Cruz Roja de Alemania. Estuvo felizmente casada, pero renunció al amor para llevar su mensaje a todo el mundo. Una inquietud que desde pequeña estuvo interesada en ayudar a los demás, pero sobre todo en proteger a los animales. Y bueno, yo tengo la oportunidad de estar con una persona sumamente interesante que es la Maestra Suprema Chin Hai. Welcome. I'm very overwhelmed to have this opportunity to be with you here in Cancun. Thank you for having me. Thank you. You are such an interesting. I've been uh, talking about a little minutes with you and it's great. It's great all the things you do and all the message you have for the world and looking forward through the earth Gracias. and through love and through really spirit and blessings. Gracias. How do you feel to be here in, in Mexico again? Oh, <laughs> it's my, one of my favorite places. I, I could stay here forever. <laughs> I love the people. I love the people especially. They're so pure and so warm-hearted and so welcome and so hospitable. I think that's why everybody likes to come to Mexico, no? Not just me. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Maybe you were talking about like Mexican people are so warm hard and yes. and focus on treating people well. Yes, very, very, very well. Every one of them. Anyone, even on the street, on the taxi driver, in the restaurant, anywhere. You just pick any Mexican <laughs> and they make you happy. <laughs> Thank you. That's very sweet from you. It's true like that. Yes. Thank you. But you are such an interesting woman because you've been all your life dedicated and focused on helping the environment and helping people. When did you start your work? More than 20 years ago, maybe almost three decades. Yes. But uh, when I was younger, I was always uh, already interested in how to protect people, uh, how to help people, how to protect the animals with I see suffering so much. But I begin officially, like maybe since ni 1983, yes. And why did you start? What happened to you that you said like, I need to give this message to all the world about like, helping the animals ah, and the yes, environment yes, and how yes. we are all connected. Yes, yes. Uh, originally, it started first with humans. Yes. Uh, what I saw on TV, you know, I was working for the Red Cross, International Red Cross in Germany, and uh, I worked for the refugees' issues, and I saw so much suffering because people are displaced by war, by disasters, yes. And, uh, and I watched TVs, It's always some very uh, suffering news for people. And, and then I start to question, what can I do to help my fellow humans? And then I start questioning, and I start my quest for whatever can I do. And that's how I go to find the, 
the answer, you know. <laughs> and then I go to ask the wise masters, yes, like the Buddha. At first I prayed, I didn't know any master at that time, so I just prayed to the Buddhas, prayed to Jesus. Uh, my father is Catholic, my grandmother is a Buddhist, so I brought up yes. in both and I compare the, the, the writing of the master, the teaching of the two, and I thought it's, it's the same. same. Yes. It's, it's great. Yes. I once read that it's beautiful, it's a poster that he liked the true religions. Yes. And it said God is so big that he didn't fit in one. <laughs> so it's like all the same. Yes, it's yes, for yes, the same. Yes. That's beautiful. Oh, that's a good saying, yeah. yeah. The thing is, um, Master, like Lord Jesus, are the representative of heaven who has sent down here to help us, to enlighten us, to, to remind us to live the way of the righteous children of God. And Buddha is the same, also sent from heaven. Yeah. Uh, same with the Prophet Muhammad, and same with uh, Guru Nanak, same with uh, Mahavira, same with Krishna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, many, I cannot name them all here, yes. They all teach the same message, like we, we have to love each other and help each other and to live in peace. So you start like just praying, like so overwhelmed about the situation that the world was living yes. back then. Yes. And then what do you do? Like and then I, I cannot uh, enjoy my peaceful life as a married woman. I was married to a physician. Um. He has two doctor great. Yeah. Dentist doctor and also medical doctor. <laughs> so two doctor doctor, yes. <laughs> and he really was so much in love with me and we were in love with each other. It was uh, very difficult, but I thought uh, there's something bigger I have to do than just continue to be a housewife. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I just left home and I, I begged him to forgive me. It was very difficult. I was crying and he was very sad and I wrote many poems about that about how sad I was to leave him. Well, maybe sometimes the right thing to do and the hardest thing to do are the same. Very hard, yes. yes. So giving back to you, almost 30 years later, you are here and working for the planet and going all around the world and the government and the people look for you. They do? <laughs> yes, they, of course they I do. Don't know. <laughs> You've been writing books. It's like from crisis to peace. It's yes. your last book. Yes. I uh, actually, I wasn't writing it. It's just the, the, my uh, association members, they collected from many different lectures that concerning this uh, climate change topic and how to prevent it. So they collected my lectures and edited and put it in that book for people. You told me that the earth has been like in bulb of blessings. Yes. And all through history we've been like destroying it. Tell me a little about this. Okay. When God created this planet, it was all for us to have comfort and beauty and blessing. And so we have many like crisscrossing spiritual blessing line all over the world, all over the, uh, the planet. Yes, it's difficult to see this because they're ultra light, ultra, supra <laughs> light. Mostly people cannot see it. In the world, only six people, seven people can see it. I myself included, yes. And then these spiritual blessing lines come from one of the highest heaven, the fifth level of heaven. And it's supposed to make us happy all our lives and everything will be in abundant. But, uh, People start to do violent things, killing each other, and then later also killing the animals. En masse, you know, too much killing. But it takes thousands of years of doing that to destroy some of the spiritual blessing lines. It's not like one or two years that we can destroy it. But now there are some are broken, some are intact. What, what do you say that we can do to prevent okay. that? We have to like if you drive in the wrong direction on the highway you know right then you just have to return to the right way that's it you know instead of heading south we go north if we want to be in the north you know the law of like attract like yes so if we want to have benevolence from heavens we have to start to be benevolent we have to show sign that we want benevolence we want peace we cannot show sign to heaven because we are the children of God. Whatever we want will come true. 
children of God, believe it? Just like you are the children of your parents and they are in uh, mm, television business or movie business. So if you want to be in the movie business, they let you. You see, in the television business, they let you, they train you. But you have to show sign of interest. I want it. You see? Yeah. Same, same. We are the children of heaven. If we want something, we have to show the sign that we want that. Okay, now, if we want peace, we want uh, benevolence, we want love, blessing from heaven, we have to start showing that by action. We have to show love to each other. We have to be benevolent to each other. Uh, we have to uh, benevolent to all. Then heaven will say, ah, my children want that. Then that will come. But we cannot just sit and pray peace and peace and benevolence when our actions are in the opposite direction. We cannot go south and then pray to be north. <laughs> you yes, see, the, this violence and killing of humans and animals are the sure sign that we don't want love, that we don't want compassion, that we don't want peace. Don't you think? I think that's so true. Is that and logical to you? Yes. Yes, that's why it is. So congruent, you know, that, that we have to do action and speak louder than words. That's it. And that's a fact. Yes. And we're going to get to a topic that it's so hard yes. and so here right now in our society is the global warming. Yes. The climate change, the environment, what is happening to our world? We're destroying it. Yes, we are. And global warming, is there a way to prevent it, to stop it? Mm. Yes, we can. There is a way. That is a good news. Global warming is caused primarily, you know already, people say it's CO2, okay? I mean uh, carbon dioxide. But carbon dioxide is not as harmful as methane. It's not as heat-trapping as methane and nitrous oxide, for example. Nitrous oxide heat up the planet 300 times more than CO2, more than carbon dioxide. And methane heat up the planet 100 times more than carbon dioxide, CO2, yes. Now, the methane and nitrous oxide, it's just two of the most potent gases, greenhouse gases that heat up our planet. There are more, okay, like hydro sulfide, for example, also. It's very deadly also, very deadly. And now, for example, if we stop methane, then the planet cool quicker than when we stop CO2. Oh. Okay, and uh, um, CO2 will stay in the, the planet for thousands of years even. But the methane, we can stop quicker because they stay in the planet maybe from 8 to 12 years only. So if we stop this quick dispersing but great heating <laughs> potential, then we cool the planet fast. And then we can have time to develop more technology. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. And methane and nitrous oxide came from animal rising. Animal rising. All the animals' product. So we have to stop using animal product to stop the greenhouse effect that yes. is made about methane. Yes, yes, yes. And, okay, I tell you, um, from the United Nations and other scientists' report, originally they say only 18%, but now they say 51% at least. Uh, greenhouse gases came from livestock rising. It's 51%. Yes. Understand me? 5 1. That's so much. Okay, so if we stop livestock, we stop 51% of global warming. You follow me? Yes. Right. Yes. And then instead of that, we plan organic farming. Organic farming will absorb 40% of CO2, of the carbon dioxide. Yes. You see that? So just by stopping animals, products, and growing organic what, vegetable. What is made about organic, vegan? Vegetable, I, yes, yes. I read a little about your book and like the diets you have yes. of, about what is made. What is made of? Yes. Of the, the food that we eat? Protein have two sources, animal protein and vegetable protein. The, the diet of the Mexican consisted of beans in the ancient times, beans and uh, corn, yes. These are the best. They have a lot of protein in there already. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Pork have only like 16%, including cholesterol, fat, <laughs> and all the hormones and all the antibiotic 
medicine in it, which make the people sick. That's why the meat-eating people often uh, die younger. If you are vegan, you live up to 15 years more. Okay. 15, mm-hmm. yes. Because all the heart disease, all the cancers, all the disease in the world are caused by meat-eating, by animals. Uh, product, even toxic from the fish, mercury, all kind of deadly disease, deadly, fatal even, came from eating cows, sheep, pigs, or even wild animals, even AIDS that is spreading all over the planet and kill many people, came originally from eating the wild uh, monkeys to begin with. And then now it's spread all over it, and it costs millions of lives, it costs billions of dollars to heal it. And not heal it even, not control it even. And we have to control it because like you said before, like we have to focus on making it right and looking forward to the earth and stop like the climate change. Yes. And and we are all connected between each other, even with the animals. Yes, yes. And that's something we don't understand. Maybe yeah. in our world we have to look forward by helping each other and protecting each other. Yes, and protect and the environment it's... and the animals. Because every time we kill something, it's the law of the universe. Yes. That if we kill or if we harm something, we have to share our spiritual merit with that. So how many animals we eat, we share all our spiritual bank account with that animals. And then we are depleted. We get poorer and poorer spiritually, poorer And if you don't have spiritual merit enough, then you have to pay with your health, your luck, or your family member, um, peace. And then larger, we pay with peace in the world. We have to pay the price for having no peace. We are all connected with yes, yes. each other. Like that, like that. You're right. And you've been traveling all around the world. Like I said before, you have been to Mexico City. I read that you have been in Paris. You have been in so many places, and what what do you think that our humanity is prepared for that message, prepared to more than a climate change, a social change? Uh, I do hope, because uh, we just try to inform everyone, as many as we can, and I'm sure people are aware of it, but they just need to change, that's all. Instead of uh, having that piece of meat, we have the whole planet. You know, right now everybody just focus on CO2, like have to stop the airplane, stop the coal industry, stop uh, the, the car, and then well, what do we do? Walk? <laughs> How far can you go with a bicycle? <laughs> you know, to Mexico City, bicycle? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you see, uh, we can still keep all that because CO2 is not yet our number one enemy. Number one enemy is methane. The greenhouse gases that trap heat more than CO2, but disappear quickly from our atmosphere. So if we stop this potential heat trapping and let them disappear quick, then our planets cool down first. And then, of course, when we still have the planet, we still have time to develop green technology. Because even if we develop green technology, it takes a long time to install everywhere, yeah. number one. Number two, we haven't tested all of them, if they are safe to use. For example, in, at the United Nations, in one of the sections that I attend, they suggest using a new technology to trap the CO2, you know, trap the carbon dioxide gas and, and, and bury it in the ground. How safe can it be? You never know. You never Maybe know. Maybe have radioactive. Yes, yes, yes. It's not only that, but if something leaking out, it will be in our soil. Yeah, poisonous. Yes. And then it will be in our water. And then we will be eating poison potatoes, drinking poison water. Do you understand me? Yes. We already poison enough here. So CO2 is not our biggest enemy. It's yet. methane. Yes. It's of course, it's better we have less. Yes. But we don't have time now to develop so quick technology. You see, even in my place where I live, I use a hybrid car or electric car. But here, I want to find a car, and you can't. You cannot, can. you know? So they have to rent a Mercedes, for example, or the Ford for us to, to transport around. But of course, I go as short distance as possible. And then I go from the hotel to the Messe, 
and then leave the car there, and then I go with the buses, you know, to Moon Palace or elsewhere that I need to go. Yes, it's like we, we need to be prepared for that, yes. and that will take some yes, years, yes, yes. because not everybody had like the opportunity to get that information, yes. and like, you know, the opportunity to get a electric car, yes, yes. and to reduce... Because that's not available even. It's, yes, I know. <laughs> not enough it's for not everybody. It's not even available. Not enough for everybody yet, you see? So the CO2, we can just let it go for the moment, let it sleep there because it will be there for thousands of years anyway. But we have the solution. If we plant all the tillable land in, on the planet, then we can absorb 40%. We plant it with organic material, yes? It's better for health even, yes? And it's more economy, it's less water using, uh, less labor. And then we can absorb even 40% of the CO2 in the air already. You see? And we have another 51% from stopping the animals industry. And because of that, we will save trillions of dollars from the mitigation cost. Yes, and education, do you think is a key for the people? Education in that side? Yes. We need to invest in it. We need yes. to tell the government. Yes, the government must invest in this. Have a lot of information grassroots, you know, like uh, to begin with. The government should subsidize organic farming and encourage people to change into organic farming. It can be fast. You know, the cows don't live that long. We just let them live until they die naturally, and then from then we don't rise anymore. The, the reason we have so many cows, for example, because we force them to, to breed, force them by medicine even, by hormones to make them and then we squeeze the milk out of the cow until his bones become all broken. He cannot even walk. That's why I don't even take milk. I don't take cheese. Before, I did not even know that. It's not like everybody knows everything. I also did not know this until I go research, you know, more. Then the more I know, the more I think vegan diet is the best for everyone, for the health also. And right now, like our world is, you, you will get to the limit that you won't eat an apple without hormones yeah, yeah, in it. Oh, <laughs> God. Yes, yes, yes. But at least if the government uh, encourage organic farming and subsidize for that, instead of subsidize uh, meat, the meat costs very cheap because the government subsidizes meat. Uh, for example, in America, without the taxpayers, <laughs> Uh, money to subsidize the animal industry, then a hamburger would cost maybe $30 or $200, not $1 like that, yeah. you see? So you're eating your tax, you're eating your own money and uh, having uh, a disease and abnormal hormone level in your body and cholesterol and everything, all these poisonous antibiotics. Even if we take antibiotic, we have to take it a little bit only when we need it. But they keep feeding the animals to keep, because they raise them in the in a farm industry that is very filthy, and the animal easily gets sick. So they give a lot of antibiotic all the time. Imagine eating all that. Yes. It's and very harmful yes. for our health. Yes. Whenever you're sick, even if you don't want to take antibiotic, mm. if the doctor prescribed to you, then you take it maybe for a week only, and then you know it's not good for you, or you stop. Then you eat the animals with heavy every day. Yes. So that's why people are going crazy, you know. They, they cannot think straight, and they are sick. That's very worrying. And all the money going to the hospital as well. Yes. And in Mexico, mm -hmm. how do you see the problem in our country? You have been so many times, you have been in Mexico City, you have been here. What do you think that Mexico is going through, like in this Desertification. Yes. Desertification. Yes. It's a lot in your country. More than 50% of the land has become desert or going to be a desert now because of uh, uh, deforestation. Yes, And therefore it's endangered the life of people because they cannot cultivate. If always flooding and then drought, you see, drought because we don't have enough tree to keep the water in the ground. The trees are the keepers of the water and then recycle it in the ground so that it distributes evenly. 
you know, enough quantity at the time. But if we cut all the trees, then we will have a lot of flood because the water will keep running down, nothing to keep it in the ground. And then it's still run and wasted. The land will have no water, no moisture, and then no cultivation possible. And then nothing keep in the ground, so we don't even have water in the ground to dig out to even use. That is so very important. We have seen in all these last years, all the floods, yes, all the... Yes. All the disaster yes. we've been going through our country, lot, you know, in lot. Veracruz, Chiapas, Ciudad de Mexico. Yes. Here right now, five, six years ago, yes. we had you we a hurricane. Yes. And we see the water is so strong. Yes. It's so, it makes such a disaster. And we don't see far away, far from that, yes. that it's a problem of we have no trees. Yes, yes. That's what you're no saying. Trees. And um, because of raising animals or because of deforestation for any other reason, uh, to inconsiderate management of the forest. And then mostly is to raise animals or to grow the crop to feed the animals instead of feeding humans. We have like one billion people hungry right now on our planet. Yeah, but the grain that we make is enough to feed two times the whole world. But we feed it all to the animals instead. Yeah. And it takes a lot of water, like many hundred times more water to cultivate a piece of meat than to have organic vegetable, like soya, corn, very little. Mm. Yes. And most of our people here in Mexico live from agriculture. It's yes. a very... Yes. It's concerned. Yes, and now if they don't have water, then they cannot cultivate because the land become dry and crack, desert, yes, because of deforestation for animals, mostly used for animal products. Even if they can cultivate, the flood will come out and wash everything away, and people will have nothing. Yes. They become beggars, you know, they lose not only their money, their livelihood, but they lose their dignity also. I know. Normally they are independent, they can take care of themselves, and they can grow vegetables and everything, and they can even sell it. But if the flood come, wash everything away, not, they cannot even have enough to eat. You see what I mean? Yes. It, the more we, we talk about it, the more I feel very sorry for the people. It should not be this way. Of course, we can inform everybody and tell them to make the choice to be organic, vegan. But if the government uh, help, it would be faster. You know, the government has more power than yes, you. And I, we can appeal to different people, but just a group and a city. The government, if they lead the process, you know, they print our leaflet, educate people, make websites, and subsidize the farmer, the poor farmer, to change into organic vegan. Then not only we can absorb CO2, we have good livelihood for people. Because right now, organic uh, food is very on demand, it's very high yes. on demand. Talking about what's going on here in Cancun, Riviera Maya, you know, the COP16. Yes. We've been expecting so many deals yes. for environment. Yes. How do you see the situation? Of course, I have to wait until the end to really know. But most of the time, they just... What I think is like water, the plant on the leaves, <laughs> not yes. at the root. You see, the root is we have to stop the global warming first of all before we even think of anything else. Because if we don't have the planet, because if global warming reach more than two degrees, then we're in trouble. Then nobody can bear, especially hot country, you know, like Mexico. They say they're going to increase to five degrees now. They predict like that. Can you imagine five degrees in Mexico? More? No. Five degrees Celsius. It'll be burning. So, yes. We can never get out of the house. You understand me? Yes. And then all the crops will die. Too hot. And people will die. People too. die, animals die. Not to talk about anything else. Yes? Uh, and then disease will spread because of the heat. Yes? When everything is so depleted like that, I don't think it's a very good idea. First, have to stop the animals industry to cool the planet. And then everything else we can have time to take care. 
You were invited to be like the heroes of ecology. In the COP16, oh. there was this dinner and they uh, talk about oh. your vegan organic diet. Yes. And I think that it's so good that people start like interested in these topics. Oh. They are the ones that are gonna affect us all and protect us all. Yes. I think we are all heroes if we begin to realize that uh, animals industry is killing our people and our planet. Killing our people by giving disease and sickness and abnormal uh, function, yes. And killing the planet because of methane gas, heating up our planet. So if we realize that and we put that into action, like we stop it, then we are all heroes. Actually, we are all savers of the planet. I don't want to be the only one hero on the planet. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be praised or given a award or anything. I just want everybody to become a hero. And now, to save our home. Because, okay, even if they plan until 2050, but what about after that? After that, the children, the young children will grow up. They will not know what to do if the planet is killing them. You see, they're too young then. You see what I mean? Yes. The children were born after this period of time. We cannot do this. Then we all become murderers of the innocents. If we kill animals, we are all murderers because we murder people as well by that, by killing animals to eat. We're killing our planet. And then we all become murderers. So I want everyone to become heroes. Save the planet. Stop eating the animals. We nowadays, we have alternative. Our ancestors, like the Maya, the Aztecs, they eat only beans and corns. And they have great civilization. People still come and They look. were so intelligent. Yeah, they still come <laughs> now and look at whatever left over. Yes. You know? Nowadays, I don't think anybody can build a pyramid like that. No, even. no, I, I think that... With not. all the technology <laughs> and so precise like this, you know, every little corner. Every little millimeters. That's so true. Yes, yes. And uh, a great civilization, they don't uh, need the meat to eat. And then we keep breeding more to eat. It's not even natural. You see what I mean? They give them a hormone and all that so they will breed more. And give them antibiotic and then fit in us with all this poison. No wonder now we have more hospital than ever. <laughs> Yeah. The more meat, the more hospital. And I think that people sometimes realize this, but think like, oh, it's such a big change. Mm. I can do anything. My help won't be need. Mm. It won't be any help. Yeah. And we have to sell to the people, like, act local, think global. Yeah, yeah, Start that's right. Start with little actions. Yes, that's right. That's what... I really, really want to invite the government to take this opportunity to be more heroic. Yes, more noble, yeah. more protector of the planet, of their people. Because truly they have more facilities than you and I. Yeah, we're just passionate, we try what we can. But the government has more facilities. And the media, if the government started, the media also jump in. You know, they can um, spread information on the internet, they can spread it locally, grassroots, by giving out information, print it out and give it out. You see what I mean? That's what we do, but we are just a group. Yeah. We are not uh, in the government power, you see? I'm working, it's, it's not like, okay, all glorious and easy. No, it's not always like easy for me, but I continue. Well, it was a very pleasure to have this interview. I could just extend and be hours and hours talking to you about this interesting topic. Okay. We have many things that we could tell you, but please read the book is all in there, huh? Yes. From Crisis to Peace, crisis. you will know all the information you need to know. Well, there will be always more updated, but at least you have the framework of it already. And it's a beautiful topic, you know, from crisis to peace, like looking about the social phenomena is going through and the climate from crisis to peace, mm -hmm. that maybe if we work harder, maybe one day we're going to look back and say, it was hard, but we did it well. Yes, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. We still have uh, some time, but short time to stop. Otherwise, it will be more out of control. Then. Yeah.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Super You're so master. young and beautiful and so good heart. God bless you. Thank God you. bless your country and your family. Thank you very much. Bless all the staff here and continue to do good work, okay? <laughs> all right. This is amazing. I love this interview. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Really, it's very interesting what you talk about. And I think I'm going to become vegetarian right now. Oh, please. <laughs> I think I, I will be more beautiful and live longer. Yeah, and it's, it's so true what you said about the ancient... Noble, yes. yes. It's a very ancient noble diet. Civilizations. Yes. Like, they did great works and great discoveries, and they yes. didn't need like this antibiotic. They they did this great civilization, yes. and they didn't need like this, like the the medicines, the antibiotic. No. Yes, that's so true. They don't need all this. <laughs> uh, people don't need. We are all connected. Yes, it's we are. Thank you so much. Well, I understand all that. This is so smart. <laughs> People who are vegetarian have a higher IQ. Do you know that? Yeah. Yeah, it's been proven. It's been proven. The People with five points more IQ above the average, they naturally just become vegetarian when they can decide for themselves. When they have information, they became vegetarian. These people are have five points or more above the average IQ. People. <laughs> Five points more. I think. Like money, any, any, not even chicken. No, 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 nothing. No animals. We love animals. Cannot eat them. For example, we you go and grab chickens and, and cut his throat and eat it. If you do it, no, you can't. Yeah, because people do it already and make it look so nice. Yeah, and and it. You don't even realize that it's life. It's real life. He was walking on the farm yesterday with his little children. And then they take him and cut his throat and then put it on the table and eat it. Huh? Imagine. We don't do that. Because people don't realize it. They're too busy, you know? Yes, they're Not like they don't get have good heart. All the people have good heart. They just don't know that. They become happy. You know, and one generation. So not like you see? Yes. Even if you don't eat, people say, oh, you don't eat, you will not grow up. Something like that. You must eat meat and all that. You know, protein is not food. Not meat. Yes. Yeah. 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 Y
parents are also lucky. Yeah, <laughs> yes, 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 she's yes, lucky. Yes. Hey, parents lucky because it's difficult to have such good child like this. Yes, I know. Not every child. No. No, because also the parents are at fault, you know. Oh. They don't include them and they don't train them. They don't teach them at a young age. They just go to the school and to do anything and then they're just busy with earning money but don't think take care of the child. Mm -hmm. Not just money, emotional ah, see, and yeah, mental yes. uh -huh. support, education yeah. at home, very important. It's very, very important. And I question when when he was a young, I see, Maria Jose. Do you want to do the interview yes. with any? Yes. I don't like it, mommy. Okay, que cuando le pregunté que si quieres entrevistarla a ella. Ah, uh, when she questioned me, like, do you want to interview? She's a supreme master. Uh -huh. She's so focused in ecology, and I was uh -huh. like, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, because okay. you like my idea, huh? Yeah. Because it's in your heart. That's why you identify with the project. And it's really good to have like people around the world interested in about in our situation. Yes, yes. global warming. <laughs> And in Mexico, of course. Yes, I'm very, very passionate about this because it's my planet. <laughs> I did bring something for you in case sometimes you're too stressed and so oh, Just a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah, we arrange it a little bit, a little bit nice. And those are all Mexican. Yeah, you can dig them. You know, some surprise down there. See that? <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. Thank Treasure <laughs> for everyone here to have a little sweeter life. Stress yes. work is very Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And I love the way that you became so passionate by going around the world and saying your message. We have Thank you. Thank you for for being my side. <laughs> I, I am your side. I yes. mean like who is not? It's our planet. Thanks for helping. <laughs> oh no, thanks for helping you. Mexico is more than fifty percent already becoming desert. Becoming. Or already became and some already becoming. Going to be desert. Desertification because of uh, deforestation, cutting trees and all that. And without trees, the water will just run. Yes. You know, the trees keep the water uh, in the soil and distribute slowly, slowly. And but oxygen. Yes, and oxygen, of course. Without tree, it will be just flood, flood, flood. You know, and also stop the wind and all that. And, uh, and if we keep cutting trees, then we will have nothing to protect us anymore. And the people cannot cultivate because too much flood and the Mexican people cannot use the land anymore if no more tree. Yes, this is the thing. And it's most of our country lives from agriculture. Yes, you know? yes, and yes. It's like a lot of work lost, a lot of disemployment. Yes. It's very hard that situation and some so many times like the people that are on the top Yes. You know, not the agriculture, so the top of the of the factories on the top of the government yes. that aren't noticed about that. I'm worried about that. And they yes. may be not well informed as well. Yes. Yes. Maybe they didn't do this on purpose. Or they think it's just a job that they, they yes, do. Yes. Just a business. But they're not overall informed about the whole situation mm -hmm. of the planet. Or the consequence of, yes, of they are this not business. Aware of the consequences. Yeah, not aware. That's why uh, you, uh, in the media, for example, must intensively inform people. Yes, I <laughs> yes. know. It, it might be a little bit late, but better than never. <laughs> yes. Better than never. Yeah. Better than never. Yes. Okay. It's never too late. Never too late. Never we still have a little time. Yes. <laughs> a little time. I hope. I'm counting every day. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Oh, it's all right. And how has been your stay here in Mexico? Oh, I like it very much. It's just too busy also. <laughs> yes, I, I can imagine. Don't really. have time to think too much, but I have been in your uh, country many times. And I've been in Cancun a couple of times before. Before this uh, COP16, I've been here two weeks before oh. to pray for the 
the world, <laughs> oh, yes, okay. and so the atmosphere to be smooth and convenient for everyone, you know, for the negotiation to be well, right. Do so you stay here in Cancun or in Riviera Maya? I stay in Cancun. In Cancun, here. Oh, normally if I come here, I would stay in the hotel zone. So, ah, okay, yeah. yes. This yes. time my people already arranged uh, in another hotel. Yes. And because we, we will make a gala there, you see? Yes. So it's more convenient to stay there. No, and the beaches are beautiful there. Is, they are is like it? too peaceful. When I, I don't know. I, the hotel is far and I had no chance to walk to the beach yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I you will. have a chance. I, I will. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm here just to work, honey, really. When That's I'm why uh, it's okay. It's okay. I, I can come back any other time. <laughs> Yes, yes, don't worry. Your country is beautiful anyway, no matter where. Yes, it's just also surrounded with with the forest, you know. Yes, I. And know. they look like untouched, you know. They really try to protect the environment. It's all green around the hotel, and not very high building, so it looks still very pretty. I know, yes. I know. Have you just been here in Mexico City or any other parts of Mexico? Oh, I've been in uh, other parts as well. Yes like, uh, you know, the islands, and Mexico City, Cancun, yes, everywhere. You know where it's, it's, it's so, it's like, from such a diversity, it's so different in many parts. Well, if you compare like here in Cancun and Mexico City, it's like oh. a different world, but yes. both are beautiful. Beautiful, especially when you see uh, from the airplane, you know? Yes. Uh, because it's not very high rise building, mostly it's, uh, all very basic, you know, and peaceful, all, um, almost like flat together. And from the airplane, you look down at night. Oh, oh I, know, I know. It's like another war. I keep telling other passengers, come here, look, <laughs> look, and you sit on my seat so you can see. Yes, <laughs> you know, yes. and I tell everybody, come and have a look quickly, quickly. It's yeah. kind of sad because it, when you are on the airplane, you can see like the pollution. Uh -huh. Have you ever seen her? It's yes, very yes. sad because it's such a beautiful city. Well, I, I love it. Yes, and uh, when it's all clear, you know, you can see it's so beautiful. Yes. It's like you look, look uh, you know, on top is the stars, and down there is also stars, like oh. uh, very big, uh, yeah. Mexico City, very beautiful. You must go on the airplane sometime and look yes, when yes. it's at night. Yes, I know. It's yes. out of <laughs> imagination. <laughs> oh. It's very beautiful. Wow. You know, and I'm in love with your people. I always am. I know, we are so warm hearts. Yeah, very, very, very. <laughs> when I first came to Mexico, you know, on my lecture tour, long time ago, maybe 15 years ago even, first time ever in Mexico, I just give one time lecture. And then people want to learn to meditate with me, okay, and I show them how. And, and after that I left, you know, I mean two, three days I left. Everybody was crying like I was their daughter and just going away, you never come back, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, I feel, I feel so emotionally very overwhelmed, you know. They love me just like I have been in their families forever. Yeah. And they please don't go, Master, don't go. Please come back. <laughs> and every time I come back, it's the same. It's like first time. I'm always yes. crying when I left. <laughs> yes, we are such a warm heart people. You it's know, when you show it something, yes. Yes. they will interest for you. It's just a little the struggle in our country because many people just are, have less education yeah. and there is so much poverty. Yeah. But, but when you give like the keys to that people, mm -hmm. They will appreciate it, and that's what makes us, I think, mm -hmm. like, unique. Yeah, I don't know. They just appreciate anyway, even if they don't give anything. <laughs> just like these days, you know, in uh, COP16, your government really, really mm -hmm. makes such a great effort to employ the right people. Or They all speak English, and they're all so friendly. They're all coordinated, like one body. You know? <laughs> I know. So everywhere you go, it's say, the same treatment. And no surprise, and no harsh, nothing. Uh, they just show you day after day, they still <laughs> smiling and very patiently showing them, helping them. You know, such a people. And I don't know, it's just that Mexico people, some became poor. It's not supposed to be like that. Yeah. It's just some, maybe some exploitation before, mm -hmm. a very inconsiderate 
management of the environment. So the people lost jobs and lost the protection of the land. But your government is is making it back now, making it up. You know, reforestation, more infrastructure to build for people, and helping uh, people to regain their job, their life. Your government is trying hard. I know, I know. You understand the richness of people is not by how many big buildings we have. Yes. The richness of people is in the heart. Yes, and now they have all that, except maybe we, we need a little bit more comfortable life, then just a step further only. Otherwise, the Mexican people, they have everything already. They're so blessed. I know. <laughs> in Cancun, we have three big spiritual blessing lines. Yes. Let's protect your country. Yes. Oh, what they are? They make people happy. Even if they're not spiritual, people will just be very happy where such spiritual blessing line are. And uh, if you are already very spiritual, then then they lift you up more and more all the time. Yes. Of course, normally spiritual blessing line is to protect the planet. You know, like the planet is like this. Yeah. And there used to be line crisscrossing the planet to hold it in balance and to make people happy and, and, and prosperous and spiritually uplifting. But because um, we have done many terrible things, we killed many masters from heaven, we killed too many of each other, we killed too many animals. So the spiritual blessing line has become thinning, thinning and disappear or broke. We used to have all the planet was covered with this blessing, crisscrossing like a net. And now we lost many. We have only like about well, seven hundred something like that. That's beautiful and that's very sad and that's so quite interesting. And that's why we have so many disasters and should have come to the gala. Yes. Okay. I leave this here for you in case you want to read more or add something later on. Okay. I make some main point in here for you in case something we have forgotten. Yeah. Okay. You can add it on to if you like. Okay. Or the Thank next. You very much. Yes. So for your information, or maybe for the next talk when you talk alone by, by yourself. Oh, thank <laughs> or you. Or you talk uh, with us or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Hi, thank you. That's thank so good. good. Thank, thank you. you for having us. And, and I read that you are, she reads poetry, she's a writer. You made jewelry too. Yes, I read yes. that. Uh, jewelry. <laughs> you will be amazed with the jewelry here in Mexico. Yes, yeah, I, I bought some. I bought some. <laughs> you did your own yeah. beauty yeah. theory? Yes. You did your yeah, own yeah, yeah. One of them. One of the designs, small thing. They're beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. She's doing everything. You want it? Oh no! Thank you. Thank you. It's such a. Oh my God. It's real. Oh my real God. <laughs> real oh, thank you. Oh real my God. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> because I see you have holes in your ears. You can wear oh, it. Thank you. <laughs> you can. Oh mother God. can also. <laughs> Sometimes borrow. Thank you very much. Give it for your future marriage or something. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. You wear it. Huh? It will look good on you. It will look good on you. Oh, you did already? I hear here. Let me try. Qué lindo se está, ¿verdad? Qué hermoso. Ah, there. Who knows? Who knows? Do we? There you are. You even have Paul in here. Very traditional girl. <laughs> yeah, it suits her because she's young and beautiful. Oh, All right, very nice. <laughs> okay. Let people see it. <laughs> very nice, huh? Yeah, look good on you. Suit your face also look like the heart shape. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Um, so With mother passion. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. It was a great lecture, and I hope that maybe when they will meet again. Sure, sure, sure. sure. <laughs> That's willing. That's willing. Okay, huh? Yes.
now invite you to join us for the following interview with Supreme Master Ching Hai by Quintana Roo's leading newspaper, Novedades, in Cancun, Mexico, on December 9, 2010. Now we still have a little time. First, I have to tell that methane and nitrous oxide is more hitting the planet 300 times more than carbon dioxide. Primero, todo lo que tenemos que hacer es recordarles que el metano y el óxido nitroso calientan más la la tierra que el dióxido de carbono. Yes, methane is 100 times more than carbon dioxide. Nitrous oxide is 300 times more than carbon. Y tengo que decir que el metano es 100 veces más caluroso que el, que el carbono y el óxido nitroso es 300 veces más so, que el calor que el dióxido de carbono. Yes, but the methane can disappear from the planet very fast between 8 or 12 years. Pero el metano puede desaparecer del ambiente muy rápido, entre 8 y 12 años. Yes. Uh, and uh, carbon dioxide stays for 1,000 years. Y el dióxido de carbono permanece durante 1,000 años. Yes. Uh, and methane heat up more, nitrous oxide heat up more, so we have to stop the most heating gas. Y el óxido nitroso calienta mucho más, entonces tenemos que detener los gases que calientan más. Yes. And to stop that, we have to stop the animal agriculture. Y para detener eso tenemos que detener la agricultura animal. You know, the way they raise animal, for example, like in America, five thousand of them in a small factory, squeezing, and they just eat and emit methane. Por ejemplo, del modo en que criamos el ganado en los Estados Unidos, en América, eh, cinco mil unidades, cinco mil seres, en un caso pequeño que respiran eh, el aire y producen metano. Uh, so if we stop the animal industry, then we can save the planet. We cool the planet first. Cool. Así que si detenemos la industria animal, podemos And then we have time to develop more green technology. I keep saying all the time, but according to scientists and United Nations report, animal industry, yeah, cost 51% plus of uh, greenhouse gas. La industria animal causa más del 51% de los gases de efecto invernadero del planeta. Greenhouse gas is the one that heat up our planet. Los gases de efecto invernadero son los que calientan nuestro planeta. On top of that, we have carbon dioxide, of course. Además de eso, por supuesto que tenemos dióxido de carbono. So now, if we we take this animal industry away. We will save 51% of the heat already. Así que si nosotros quitamos esa industria animal, nosotros ya estamos ahorrando los un 51% del calor. Yes, and if we use the land, the animal land, y si usamos la tierra para los animales, and all the all the cultivating land, y toda la tierra cultivable, in the whole planet, en todo el planeta, then we can absorb. Uh, the have to be organic, na? Then to go organic, vegetable. Yes. Then we can take away 40% carbon dioxide. Entonces podemos absorber 40% del dióxido de carbono. So easy. Why don't they do that? Es muy fácil. ¿Por qué no es que lo hacemos? And then later we can make green technology if we have the planet. If the planet not destroyed. Y luego podemos desarrollar tecnología ecológica si es que tenemos el planeta, si el planeta no se destruye. Yes, if planet's gone or heat up, everybody dying, who's gonna make the green technology? Si el planeta se acaba y todo el mundo muere, ¿quién va a desarrollar la tecnología? Yes, la tecnología ecológica. Yes, besides, uh, green technology is new. We have not tested if it's good or dangerous or side effect. Además, la tecnología ecológica es nueva, de nuevo, de nuevo, no la hemos probado, no sabemos si tiene algún efecto secundario o si tiene algún efecto. Yeah, not yet perfect. No está todavía perfecto. Yes, so if we stop the animals rising and cultivate organic, we, we already almost cool the planet like usual. No, no two degrees even. 
si nosotros detenemos la agricultura animal y, en, y hacemos la agricultura orgánica, no sé si ya entramos al planeta ni siquiera, es un 2%. Si Yesterday I attend a meeting in the, in the COP, ¿no? In the Moon Palace. Ayer fui a asistir a una reunión en el Moon Palace, ¿no? And I listened to all the suffering of the people from Africa and those small low-laying islands. Y escuché el sufrimiento de toda la gente de África y de todas las islas bajas. They say if the the way things going is going to hit up five five degrees Celsius more and they're going to die. They cannot do anything. The African people. Yes. No technology can help them at that time. No hay tecnología que pueda ayudarlos en ese momento. And the low lying island many 18 islands already gone dead underwater six meters y las islas que son bajas ya están inundadas del agua seis metros incluso ya tienen seis metros arriba del agua and many more because the sea level keep rising y muchas más porque la, el nivel del mar sigue aumentando because the planet heat up and the ice melt the sea level keep rising many people sometimes the whole population had to move away porque el agua se calienta y entonces hay deshielos, el agua sigue subiendo, entonces toda la población, incluso toda la población tiene que desplazarse a otra parte. Crying, but who cares? Ellos lloran, pero aquí no importa. Yes. ¿Está de acuerdo? Sí, dado a tu experiencia en ella, ¿qué países son los que están de alto riesgo actualmente? ¿Qué países son los que están de alto riesgo actualmente? ¿Qué países son los que están de alto riesgo actualmente? ¿Qué países son los que están de alto riesgo actualmente? Uh, more or less only. Más o menos. Sí. Yes. But of course the special is African country because they are helpless. They don't have enough power. Uh, they don't have enough finance to, to, to fight against the climate change. They, they don't have money. They don't have anything to protect themselves. Pero por supuesto que África, porque ellos no tienen nada para luchar contra eso, no tienen apoyo financiero, no tienen nada para protegerse de de, de luchar el cambio climático. And the low laying island. Y las islas que son bajas, de baja altura. Y, like, for example, uh, many islands gone already. Por ejemplo, muchas islas han desaparecido ya. Island nations sink under the sea. Naciones enteras se han hundido, hundido debajo del mar. And many more are sinking. Y muchas más están hundiendo. Yes, not only sinking, but before sinking, their land becomes salty. They cannot cultivate nothing. No nada más están hundiendo, sino que poco antes de hundirse la tierra se vuelve salada. Entonces no pueden cultivar nada. Yes, an island very difficult to import things. They are also poor. En las islas islas es muy difícil importar las cosas porque también son pobres. Yes, and also they have no sweet water to drink. Y tampoco tienen agua dulce para tomar. They don't have enough technique to even uh, make desalinization, like turn salt water into sick water. They don't have capacity. Ellos no tienen la capacidad o el dinero para desalinificar el agua, para hacer la desalada a dulce. No tienen capacidad. So they lose not only their house, their nation, lose their dignity, lose their life, children, family, todo. Entonces ellos no nada más pierden su nación, sino que pierden su dignidad, su vida, sus niños, todo. Y en ese punto pregúntalo si es ya necesario planificar las familias y evitar tener más hijos para evitarlos al riesgo. Maybe organize a little. Quizá organizarnos un poco, pero. But that's not the problem. Pero ese no es el problema. We have enough grains and food vegetables to feed population of this planet three four times. Tenemos suficientes granos y vegetales para alimentar tres o cuatro veces a la población de este planeta tres o cuatro veces. Yes. If we stop the feeding the animals and feed humans. Si nosotros dejamos de alimentar a los animales, podemos alimentar a las personas. Yes. And if we stop the animal industry, then no more heat, no more melting the ice, and no more rising water. People, okay, they take care of themselves. Y entonces si nosotros detenemos a los animales, ya no hay más calor, ya no hay más deshielo, ya no hay más movimientos. Y entonces la gente se cuida sola, cuida sola de ella misma. Okay. Now it's already happening, but we still can move these people to a better land organizing better land but we have to stop the madness otherwise it's continue forever and we will lose the whole planet we would kill the whole population nosotros ahorita todavía está sucediendo podemos desplazarlos a una tierra mejor 
pero nosotros seguiremos perdiendo el planeta, vamos a perder toda la población si no detenemos esta locura. Okay. Entonces, ¿qué necesitamos? ¿Voluntad, dinero, coordinación con los gobiernos? ¿O ¿Qué hace falta para trabajar? What do you think is needed? A uh, will, will of power, money, government. What is needed for us to work? The government has to inform people. Los gobiernos tienen que informarle a la gente. Of the uh, dangers of the animal industry. De los peligros de la industria animal. And then inform people of the, the solution. Y entonces informarle a la gente de la solución. And then the uh, government after moving people from danger situation they have to subsidize for organic um, vegetable farming y entonces después de la gente este, desplazar a la gente a un lugar seguro el gobierno tiene que empezar a hacer subsidios para el futuro orgánico at the moment uh, many governments support uh, animal agriculture porque por el momento muchos gobiernos apoyan la agricultura animal they use the tax money to subsidize the Uh, meat industry. Utilizan el dinero de los impuestos para subsidiar la industria yeah. cárnica. Yeah, that's why uh, the hamburger costs only one dollar. If no subsidies, it costs thirty dollar or two hundred dollar one hamburger. Es por eso que la hamburguesa cuesta un dólar. Si no fuera subsidiada, costaría treinta o doscientos dólares. Si no fuera subsidiada. Yes, we use that to to support the farmer. Usar eso. Organic farming. Usar eso para apoyar a los a los agricultores yes. para agricultura orgánica. Organic farming uses less water, less land, less work, and healthy. La agricultura orgánica usa menos agua, menos trabajo, y es más saludable. And save the planet. Y salva el planeta. Uh, at least 40% CO2 immediately absorbed. Por lo menos el 40% del CO2 es absorbido inmediatamente. Yes. ¿Qué espera ella de esta COP, o sea, de la reunión de los países? ¿Qué es lo que espera? What are your expectations, Nasser? Of course. I expected him to tell people the truth. Espero que le digan a la gente la verdad. What is the major problem that caused our planet heating? ¿Cuál es la causa principal, la razón principal que causa el calentamiento de nuestro planeta? Even if they still love to eat meat, they have to inform people, make the sacrifice to save the planet. Incluso si aman comer carne, tienen que dar información para sacrificar la carne para salvar el planeta. The rich country cannot continue eating meat at the cost of all the other poor country. Los países ricos no pueden continuar comiendo carne a expensas de todos los demás países pobres. The meat causes the most heating planet problem and all the poor countries suffer. Only the rich people don't suffer. They don't see anything. They still have water, they still have meat. They think it's okay. It's not okay. Porque la carne causa es el principal problema de calentamiento. Entonces, los países pobres sufren, la gente rica sigue comiendo carne, ellos no ven ningún problema y parece que todo está bien. Ellos tienen agua, pero no, no está bien. Meat diet, even if we cut it, is only affect most of the rich people. The poor country, they can't afford meat. They have to sell their crop, their corn, their rice for the rich country to feed the animals. Eh, si nosotros eliminamos la carne, eso no afecta a la gente pobre, gente, afecta nada más a la gente rica. Ellos tienen que vender sus, sus cultivos, vender sus cosechas para alimentar incluso a los animales. Yes. 70% of the clean good water on the planet are used for, for agriculture and most of that is for animals. 70% del agua limpia Animal de raised livestock. es usada para la agricultura y la mayor parte de eso es usada para la agricultura animal, para dársela de comer a los animales. Yes. Also, fishing. They fish it too much. Now we depleting the plant, uh, the fish system. Incluso la pesca, la sobrepesca está devastando el planeta, el sistema del planeta. Anything to do with eating animals is killing our planet, killing our people. Cualquier cosa que tenga que ver con comer animales está matando nuestra gente, está matando el planeta. We have other food to eat. Not like we will die if we don't eat meat or fish. We have alternative food. Tenemos otra comida alternativa. No es que muramos si no comemos carne. Tenemos yes. otras alternativas. Yes. Everybody tell the drug people they have to stop it. They cannot even the drug they cannot replace. Okay, and addictive. But food we can change, and we have other food. Todo el tiempo decimos tenemos que detener las drogas. Las drogas no se pueden reemplazar. No no hay reemplazo. Pero la comida la podemos reemplazar por comida buena. Comida buena.
some of the tragic tolls of addictive drug abuse. Over 200,000 deaths each year. Costs of 181 billion US dollars each year in the United States. 33 billion US dollars in the UK. Lifetime cost of current drug addiction amounts to 575 billion US dollars in the UK. Harmful effects, brain damage, stroke, heart disease, liver disease, tuberculosis, emphysema, cancer, depression, suicide, permanent memory loss, mental illness, higher infant mortality, increased crime and violence, impotence. Crime and violence. Illegal drugs are a factor in 50% of burglaries in the United Kingdom each year. In the U.S., 60% of people arrested each year have been taking illegal drugs. 650 heroin addicts in the U.S. committed 70,000 crimes in a three-month period. Social costs. U.S. businesses lose 100 billion U.S. dollars per year due to employees' drug and alcohol abuse. Australians pay 53 billion U.S. dollars per year for healthcare, law enforcement, and lost productivity of drug users. Environmental costs. Every gram of cocaine produced destroys 4.4 square meters of rainforest, with 300,000 hectares of rainforest lost each year to cocaine production. Death. 52 people die each day due to drugs in the U.S. In Canada, substance abuse is attributed to 21% of total deaths and 23% of potential life years lost due to early mortalities. Plus more. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. For help quitting, please visit Después de este, de su visita a México, ¿qué lugar sigue a visitar? No, no, I, I have to go home. Tengo que ir a casa. Meditate. Meditar. Lock myself in to meditate. Encerrarme a mí misma para meditar. In order to have enough power to give again to the world. A fin de tener suficiente poder nuevamente para poder dar al mundo. Because uh, if I don't have enough, I cannot give. I must recharge my bank account, <laughs> my spiritual bank account. Porque si no tengo suficiente, entonces no puedo dar. Tengo que recargar mi banco, mi banco espiritual. Yes. ¿Cuántos años lleva recorriendo este los países y cómo es que ha aguantado no este visitar? y hacer sus oraciones espirituales. ¿Cómo se sostiene pues, espiritualmente? Con la meditación y la oración. Vegan diet keeps you going. La dieta vegana te sigue dando pilas. Yes. And for finance, I, I earn money by designing life. This clothes, uh, the earring I gave already away, but uh, for example, this is just uh, yeah, and uh, uh, this is just some of the design I make. Y para sostenerme hago vivo a través de mi diseño, por ejemplo como esta ropa, por ejemplo como los aretes que ya acabo de dar no te puedo enseñar, pero por ejemplo como estas joyas o como estas joyas que tienen ellos también a través de su trabajo. Just now because uh, my earring, I just gave it to the, the reporter in the television interview, so I don't have, but I. I design. Esos aretes no los trae ahora porque se los acaba de entregar a la señorita que le estaba haciendo el reportaje en la televisión, pero ese es su diseño. Clothes, la ropa yeah. también. Yes. Bien. ¿Con quién se entrevistó hoy este el día de hoy fue en el campo? He wants to know much and who made the interview. Alguna autoridad. Sí. Okay. I like a local authority. Today is uh, television, ¿no? Yes. En cadenas, en, ca en yeah. cadena TV. ¿Con algún gobierno municipal se entrevistó? Oh, you want to know, like, if you did an official visit to a government, local government, perhaps? Today, I just went to give a gift and some um, little financial gift to the poor people. In, and I don't know where it was. Um, I don't know the city. Little village. Do you know where it is? Yes, Treasure. I tell you. 
Eh, es el children, niños. El día de hoy nada más fue a visitar a unos niños con las autoridades locales a, a repartir regalos, a repartir regalos económicos también a la colonia Tres Reyes. Yeah. People don't want me to go, so that's why I am late and apologize to you because of that. La gente realmente no quería que me fuera, por eso es que estoy tarde y me estoy eh, me quiero disculpar con usted por estar también tarde. We just run, run from there. Corrimos de allá, de allá para acá. I said, please, please, I am late, I want to stay, but I must go. Le dije, por favor, por favor, quiero que se permanecer, pero me tengo que ir. ¿Qué más le gustó de Cancún, México? What is what you like the most from Cancún, México? I like it uh, everywhere, actually, because people are friendly, uh, very, very humble, very simple. Everywhere in Mexico, I feel at home. Me gusta mucho México porque la gente me hace, es muy, muy humilde, muy cálida y me hace sentir como en, como en casa. No más y Cancún. No es solamente Cancún. Pero me gusta la gente. Cuando yo llegué, estaba en México City. Y cuando me dejé, la gente estaba llorando, llorando, como si fuera una familia. La primera vez que vine fue a la ciudad de México y la gente lloraba, lloraba, lloraba como si fuera de su familia. Sí, en todas partes. En todas partes. But I like Cancun, I don't pero, worry. Pero I like también it. me gusta Cancun, no se preocupen. It's because they make it green. Yeah? Es porque lo están haciendo ecológico. They view, but they leave the green and the beach clean. Ustedes viven, pero mantienen la playa y los los árboles limpios. But we have to protect, otherwise it will be like six years ago again. Así que, pero tenemos que proteger porque si no será como hace cinco o seis años. Otra protect vez. the whole planet proteger todo el planeta. Otherwise, more and more disaster now because of climate change. Si no habrá más y más desastres ahora debido al cambio climático. And climate change because of methane and from the animals. Y cambio climático también debido al metano derivado de los animales. Overfeeding. Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol levels, reduces type 2 diabetes, prevents stroke conditions reverses atherosclerosis, reduces heart disease risk 50%, reduces heart surgery risk 80%, prevents many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increases life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, saves 70% of the total cost of 40 trillion US dollars for reducing global warming, uses 4.5 times less land to grow food, conserves up to 70% clean water, saves 80% of the cleared Amazonian rainforest from animal grazing, a solution for world hunger, Free up 3.4 billion hectares of land. Free up 760 million tons of grain every year. Half the world's grain supply. Consumes one-third fossil fuels of those used for meat production. Reduces pollution from untreated animal waste. Maintains cleaner air. Saves 4.5 tons of emissions per U.S. household per year. Stop 80% of global warming plus more. Para terminar, no vas a ver cuándo se va de México, dónde viven y cuánto días tomará de vacaciones. So you can tell yourself, Master, he would like to know when are you living, where do you live, and how many days of holidays do you have? I don't have holidays. <laughs> no tengo vacaciones. I came here to work and I'm working every day. Vine aquí a trabajar y trabajo todos los días. If I'm not with you, then I'm in the cup meeting, or I'm with my people to do other things. Si no estoy con usted, yeah. estoy en la... I don't come for holidays. <laughs> o oh, estoy con mi gente haciendo otras cosas. No he venido de vacaciones. This is the kind of holiday for me, to serve people. Pero este es un tipo de vacaciones para mí, el servir a otras personas. Save my planet. Salvar mi planeta. I don't know if it's your planet, but it's my planet. Yo no sé si sea su planeta, pero es mi planeta. <laughs> I am in Europe, huh? Y vivo en Europa. Okay. No say English. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. This is your house. This is your house, Master. Oh, thank you. I wish I could stay. Gracias. Me encantaría poder quedarme. Because I love Mexico. Porque amo México. I truly love Mexico. Verdaderamente amo México. I mean the people. La gente de México. Quiero decir la gente. Mucho gusto. Gracias por el espacio. Thank you very much, Master, for your time. Yeah, I'm very passionate about it. If there's another visit, then with great pleasure, we'll be here. 
if you have a, if you have another chance for another interview, we will be more than glad to have you for another interview. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. And uh, I say, may God bless you on your duty when you do, because I know it's not safe. I thank God for you. Thank you very much. We have a, a television. This is a, a television. I have one. Okay. If you want any information, uh, you please yeah. look into it. Yeah, SupremeMasterTV.com. All the uh, free to download information. Okay. So that you inform yourself of the situation of our planet. Okay. Yeah. For more information for your uh, newspaper, you you uh, consult. Uh, it's a television, but they have it on internet also. It's not television. My privilege. I I thank them. So kind. Yes. Yeah. Anything I do for Mexico. Thank you. See you soon.